Okay. Hey everyone, it's Kelly from The Hub. I am here today with Joy Ashley. You know her. She's the Executive Director of Effort Area Social Services. How are you there, Joy? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm doing very well. So today, Joy and I are going to talk about paying your rent and paying your electric bill, amongst other things. But first, I think we should always talk, since we've got um, Effort Area Social Services here, and they are very well known for the food bank. Joy, how's food? How's how are customers? What's how's your supply? <laughs> we have an awesome supply. We are our shelves are fully stocked. Just to get the word out, we are now accepting food donations. We're back to the, our normal accepting of food donations. So um, feel free if if your church has a little drive, feel free to drop those items off. Um, but yeah, Excellent. that's always good are, to know. People are, yeah. people are eager to, to do those, that kind of a helping. So good to yeah. know. Excellent. The, uh, yeah, like I said, the shelves are full. We have incredible produce. I know that the, the season of gardening is now is upon us. So our effort of community garden has already, uh, supplied us with hundreds of pounds of food of produce, red beets and onion, just beautiful stuff. Um, but we also are getting uh, produce from the Whittle Farm project up in E-Town. Uh, Mellinger's Lutheran Church has a community garden that we're getting some produce from. So we have the fresh produce and that's the healthy stuff. So come, come, sign up, give us a call, use our food bank. Because you know what, if you use our food bank, you can save those dollars. You can save that money to pay for those bills that you are behind on. Yeah, so let's talk about that. So the yeah. a lot of people who are watching know that the moratorium for non-payment of rent was extended from July 10th to August 31st. Yeah. So if I was in the in a place where I hadn't been paying rent because I didn't have the funds, I probably was breathing a sigh of relief which is really understandable. But here's the little bit of a problem. Yeah. We are That's both funny. making a plea. <laughs> if you have not paid rent in several months, please talk to your landlord. Please try to figure out a payment plan because if you haven't paid in a long time, the rent is still gonna come due at some point. Right. Um, August 31st, whenever that is. If you're not putting money in at least a little bit, by the time the moratorium is lifted, there could be some big problems. Right. So that's, that's the bad news. That's, that's what I want to. Yeah. Joy, endure. what's the good news? The good news is we can help, but you know, that just to reiterate what you said, the, uh, there's going to come a time where you got to pay the piper. It's not free living. <laughs> and so right now we have expanded unemployment. We, ha we have the stimulus checks. Use that money to catch up on those big bill payments. There's programs out there that we can use to help you with that, to help supplement some of the, the cost, of, you know, those expenses that if, depending on how far you've gotten behind, but ultimately, it's you that has to pay the bills. And uh, the expanded unemployment is going to end. You're going to have to find work. And if your particular company is not recalling you, we have partners. Come call us, and we will work on finding you another job. CareerLink has a ton of things just, open. Absolutely. They have yeah. a ton of things open. They have training. If you're not working now, what are you doing to improve so that you, when it's time, when you can get called back or you're looking for another position that you've got opportunities. So we'll certainly link a, a career link into this video as well to make sure that you can, you can check them out. The right. other concern, so we've talked about rent. The other concern is Borough Electric. For those of you who live within Effort of Borough, Effort right. of Borough just announced that they will be, that their um, moratorium on non-payment for electric ended July 10th, which was last week. 
And yes. the borough announced that they will be starting to send out letters to people who have not paid for their electric on August 7th. With, and then disconnections will start August 20th. Yes, now. <laughs> and they will disconnect. And they there's a fee once you're disconnected to get reconnected. And Don't get further into the hole. Right. If you have any, what you need to be doing is you do not have to have your bill paid in full by the disconnected day. You have to be on a payment plan that works for both you and the borough. So we are strongly suggesting make a call, go into the borough. The lobby is open. You can go and talk to someone and make a payment plan that works for you. You're going to have to talk to someone there to be able to do it. But if you make a payment plan, that will certainly help. If you have problems with that, you can certainly let us know. If you feel like mm -hmm. they're not really helping you, you can certainly let us know, but they know that you're coming because we have had this conversation. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. just like rent, we are here to help you. We cannot pay the whole thing, but we are here to advocate on your behalf. We're there to help you get you started. We're there to help you make the rest of it and so you're paying some, so you've got to reach out. Um, this is yeah. this is going to be some unattractive times, maybe. But if you're thinking about it, and you're planning a little, and you're saving a little, and you're reaching out, and you're making sure that you've got friends like Joy and I to to who will be on your side, that will be helpful. That'll be really good. Two two things that I want to say about that. Um, you have till October to try and catch up, work on your payment plan, build your plan. If you would have your electric cut off and it stays off, November is the beginning of the winter months. Please know that the borough is not going to turn your electric back on if you still owe. If you are turned off and you're not making your payments and nothing has been done, they're not going to suddenly turn on your electric for the winter months. So I just want to make that very clear. You must make your payments. You must come up with a plan. Another thing I want to say about this is use your money for those bills. Do not, don't feel like you have to, oh, but I got to feed my family. We are here for that. And typically, our normal process for the food bank is for a family to come every 30 days and use our food bank. But we are willing, we have the, the resources, we have the food, come more than that if you need to come and use the food bank more often. If it means saving money so that you can get caught up on your electric bill, saving money so you can get caught up on that rent, food should be the least of your problems. And if you're concerned that the stuff that you get at the food bank is stuff that you don't know how to cook with, that's not a problem. There's oh. recipes at the food bank. There's people, you could ask anybody who's there, what do I do with this? That is, that is a very easy problem to solve. The hard stuff yeah. is saving your money for those bigger bills like electric and rent. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So between the hub and effort area social services, we are here for you in all the ways you could possibly want. So um, please reach out so that you don't get into a bad position. And we are looking forward to helping you. We've got, we've got great people who are here who know lots of things and we have lots of programs available to us and lots of partners who are also willing to help. So please reach out. Yep. Thanks great. everybody. Thank See you. you. Bye-bye.